if you're using modern Excel functions such as filter and text split, you know the power of dynamic array calculations. From one cell, we can spell out multiple calculation results. But with these functions, we soon run into an issue. Once we have the spill of our result, how can we make that spill spill again? And in this video, we'll see that the drop, reduce, lambda, and stack combination is the answer that we're looking for. So if you're ready, let's get started. Here is our scenario. We have a list of items and a list of values. What we want to do is to list all of the alpha values below the word alpha, all of the Bravo values below the word Bravo, all the Charlie values below the word Charlie, and so on. Currently, the words Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and the Delta are hard-coded into these cells. Now, this is quite a straightforward calculation. Equals filter, open your bracket. We want to filter our value column where the item is equal to Alpha. I'll close that bracket and calculate. Now, that gives us the values for Alpha. If we want the values for Bravo, Charlie, and Delta, we can't just drag those cells across because it changes our cell references where we are referencing the table. Instead, we need to freeze those cell references. For a table, what we have to do is to double our column names in square brackets. So we've done that for our value column. Let's do the same for our item column. I'll add item, double close bracket. And now when that calculates, that gives us alpha. We can drag across and it now calculates for each of those items, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and Delta. Fantastic, so have we solved this problem? Well, not quite, because what happens if we get a new item of Echo? Well, nothing. Nothing updates because we don't have a value of Echo. These are hard-coded values. We would need to add Echo as an additional item and then drag across our formula. And you know what? I don't like manual actions. I don't like the fact that we have to drag across and update our calculation. So how can we do this so that it spills automatically? That's what we're going to find out next. The thing that makes this situation so difficult is the fact that we have used the filter function. Filter is an array function that spills automatically. But what if we want to spill our spill function? That's the issue that we've got. In our specific example, we have our data and we also have our filter, which spills the results for alpha. What we need to do is to spill that spiller function so that we get values for each of our items. To do that, we need a specific function combination because what we need to do is to filter for alpha and then we add that to a previous stack of results. We then filter for Bravo and add that to our previous stack of results. We do the same for Charlie, and we do the same for Delta. And we need all of this to happen automatically, so that if we get more items, our stack will calculate for as many items as it needs. To achieve this, we're going to use the drop, reduce, lambda stack combination. So now let's head back into Excel and see how we can use this function combination. To solve this scenario, we're going to start with just our data and two cells of where we want to place our items. I'll type equals unique, open bracket. We want the unique from our item column. But we don't just want a unique list of items. We also want them sorted. So the unique sort, not just that, we also want them to be in a single row. So we're going to add two row. I'll close the bracket and calculate, and now that gives us our four items. If we get a new item of echo, you can see that our calculation now expands. Let's now turn to our calculation. In cell E5, I'll type equals filter, opening bracket. We want to include the value where the item is equal to alpha. Now we know that this will just calculate for the alpha item. What we want to do is to calculate for alpha, that's our current item, and then add it to the stack. We then calculate for Bravo as the current item and add it to the stack. So 
Rather than referencing E4, we're going to use the word current. We also want to add this to our stack. So let's add H stack. And our previous result, we're going to call previous. That means we're stacking our previous and our current. Therefore, each time we calculate a new item, it's going to add that to the stack. Now we've created two names, current and previous. Excel doesn't know what these names mean. Therefore, we're going to create them inside a Lambda function. The names will be previous and current. So we've now created our names of previous and current and used them inside our calculation. What we need to do now is to pass values into these previous and current arguments. To do that, we use the reduce function. Reduce, open bracket, we have our initial value. Now in this scenario, we don't have an initial value. So we're going to use an empty text string. We then have an array argument. This is the list of items that we want to be our current value. We have that here in cell E4, and I can press hash to get the spill range. I'll then enter a comma, and it means that our lambda function is now our function argument. I'll close the brackets at the end and calculate. And that kind of gives us what we want. These are the values for alpha, that's the value for Bravo, they are for Charlie, and they are for Delta. That means we need to clean this up a little bit. At the start, let's add the drop function. I want to drop, and we want to drop this by one column. That now gets our values into the correct column, and let's now handle the NAs. So if error, open bracket, and if there is an error, we want to have an empty text string. I'll close that, and fantastic! That now gives us exactly what we want. We have each of our items and the values listed below each item. Now, what happens if we get a new value? Echo, 100. As you can see, everything expands. This doesn't just impact filter. It impacts all the basic array functions that spill naturally. So let's go and take a look at another example, which uses text split, and we will see that this drop, reduce, lambda, stack combination is the answer to our problem. Here we have a table which contains names and addresses, and we want to split them into name, address, and town. In cell D5, I'll type equals text split, open bracket. We're going to select our first cell, and then for our column delimiter, we're going to use a comma and a space. I'll close that bracket and it calculates correctly. It spills our text. The problem comes if we try to reference not just a single cell, but an entire column. When that calculates, it no longer spills correctly. We get what's known as the array of arrays problem. So how can we use this function combination to solve this problem? We're going to edit our formula and rather than referencing our column, we're going to reference current. That means it will calculate for each of our current rows. We then want to vstack our previous and our current, previous being the calculation as it builds up. Now we've created previous and current. Let's now tell Excel that these are names that we have created. Lambda, previous and current. So now Excel knows that previous and current are the names that we are using. We now need to pass values into this function. We'll use reduce, opening bracket. We need an initial value, so we'll enter an empty text string. We then have our array. These are the items that we want to treat as our current values. I'll select our table column, and then for our function, we're going to use our Lambda function. I'll close the bracket at the end and calculate. That now splits this text correctly, but because we had our initial value, we do have this row that we need to drop. So let's add drop, open bracket. We want to drop one row, closing bracket, calculate, and that now gives us exactly what we need. Now in this scenario, we don't need to use the if error because we have the same number of columns in each of our rows. That is the power of the drop, reduce, lambda, and stack combination. 
it can take functions that already spill and then stacks them together into a new spill range. If you like this video, then why not subscribe and get notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.